2K drop these iconic packs, which have players such as Galaxy Opal Penny Hardaway, Galaxy Opal Clay Thompson, also Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain, but then a 100 overall Michael Jordan. But they're not in the player market. I want to be able to buy the cards, but they're not here. You can only buy the pink diamonds from the set, and out of all the pink diamonds, this is the best one by far. This Franz Wagner actually looks like a beast. But that's why right now we have almost 2 million MT, and I'm going to spend it all on these iconic packs. I wish I could just buy the Galaxy Opals from the player market though, but hey, I want to see if we can pull this 100 overall Michael Jordan. Could you imagine? Anyway, we don't have any amazing packs. Really, the only packs we have are just base packs and normal packs. No deluxe packs, so 400,000 MT for a box once again. I know it's so expensive, but we're only spending MT, so let's do this box. I don't know, man. We need to see quite a few shakes. Like, I want to see a few Galaxy Opals in 2 million MT, so it's going to be a good test to see how good these odds are in iconic packs. The cool thing about the iconic packs, I'm not going to lie, is it's one of my favorite card arts. I've seen for an extremely long time in 2K. I absolutely love it as we get back-to-back -back Amethysts in the middle, but the scary part about only spending MT is really, if you get bad stuff, you can get absolutely nothing, but bam! That's our first pink diamond just like that. Obviously, we're hoping for Franz Wagner. He's by far one of the best pink diamonds in the game. So which one is this going to be? Center. Is this Hassan Whiteside? No, it's Joel Embiid. Okay, um, that's going to be a Series 2 player. And that's the exact opposite of what we want to see. I actually want to see these Galaxy Ovals 2K. I'm just letting you know, like 2 million MT, surely. I'm probably not meant to say surely because then we probably won't get anything good. But... Let's keep the fingers crossed. But yes, having these players as only special inserts, I don't know, is definitely disappointing once again because I want to see them as we get Brandon Ingram right there who is a Galaxy Opal in these packs, but I want to see them in the player market. It would be so much better because it would mean instead of me spending 2 million MT on packs, we could just buy the exact players that we wanted. And I'm fine with Michael Jordan just being the only special insert, but every single one of the Galaxy Opals, I really badly want that Penny Hardaway. I really badly want, who else is it? Clay Thompson as well. We're going to have to try and see if we can test our luck and at least get one of those players from these packs. I don't know, though. There's also a Galaxy Opal Jason Kidd. There's a Galaxy Opal Demarcus Cousins. They're two players that I don't really want to see. And my word, these packs are bad. We're on pack number 14 right now, and we haven't seen a single shake for a pink diamond that's actually from the set. This one is just a diamond. This is... No, th like, this box is not good. If we go an entire box without a single player from the collection, man, that's a bad sign. That is a bad sign, I can tell you that. Like, remember, this was 400,000 MT. I could buy four pink diamonds for the same price as that I'm just opening up this box. So, I don't know, man. There's, there's actually no way we don't get a single player. There's actually no way from an entire box we don't get a single player. Surely, it just has to come at the end. Absolutely surely. Like the only way we can be saved in this box is literally by like a Galaxy Opal or a 100 overall. That's the only way. If I get a pink diamond, I'm still disappointed. But I'll be extra disappointed if we don't get one at all. This is now our final pack. This is the worst box I've ever opened. Can we see something good in the final pack? We do get a shake and it has to be a Galaxy Opal to save it. This one... It's just a pink diamond. Okay, can we at least see an iconic player, please? Which one is it? Center. Don't be Joel Embiid. It's Nikola Jokic. Bro, that's going to be the worst box I've ever seen. Absolutely the worst box I've ever seen. That was 400,000 MT. And Angus, how many players did you get from the collection? Zero. <laughs> What? I can quick sell this box for 32,000 MT. Yep, so we didn't pull a single one of the pink diamonds or a single one of the special inserts. Maybe I have to like back out or something because that was so bad. There they are. They're the players that we want. All right, let's just switch it up. Let's just switch it up and do a 10 pack box. This is now 600,000 MT spent and we haven't seen a single iconic player, but surely in this box, surely in this box, we have to see something okay. I'm just looking for the first iconic player. I think it's like 16% chance that you actually get a pink diamond player. So I mean, you would kind of expect in 30 packs that we'll see one. I guess we just got to wait and see. As really like, thanks 2K. Thank you. They hit me with the Emerald Clay Thompson. We want to see the Galaxy Opal version. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like Galaxy Opal Clay is definitely going straight into my team. If we're able to pull him. Same as the Penny Hardaway. But man, this is not looking good. Josh Hart, my heart is broken. Opening up these right now. Iconic. Iconic for terrible odds. What is going on? Hey, we need this card in Wemby's Legacy. Speaking of Wemby's Legacy, though, I want to thank you guys so much for your support on that series. As finally we do get a shake, this one is another pink diamond. It has to be an iconic player. There's absolutely no way at all. But thank you guys so much for your support. Small forward. Is it Franz Wagner? It's going to be Jeff Green. Okay. 
I don't even care. I'm glad that this is an iconic player. Thank you. And you can see here why he's an iconic player. When you look at the card, he's iconic because he's played for so many teams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's played for 12 teams. That's very impressive. Okay, well, we finally got our first iconic player. And that's the thing I like about these players is they actually do show some pretty cool, interesting facts about them on the card. This one is a Galaxy Opal. Let's go. Okay, the 10-pack box, way better. Pack number eight is great. We want to see Penny Hardaway or also Clay Thompson. And was there another one? I'd be happy with Wilt Chamberlain too. They're the ones I want to see. I do not want Jason Kidd though. Do not want him. So 2K, save this pack opening. Save this pack opening with an insane player in this pack right here. Let's flip it and see which Galaxy Opal this is going to be. Please be a good one, please. Let's point that. I absolutely knew that was going to happen. I literally, no, it could have even been Penny Hardaway when it said point guard, but no, I knew it was going to be Jason Kidd for sure. Like I, there's no chance I'm using this card. As soon as I saw point guard, I didn't get excited, even though I knew it could have been a crazy player. Could have been Penny, but no, we got Jason. Kidd, number five, point guard, Dimer. 10 time all-star and in the hall of fame. Yeah, pretty iconic, but not iconic in this pack opening because that's the one Galaxy Opal I didn't want to see. But can we go pack number nine with something good? This box has been a whole lot better, not just because we've seen a Galaxy Opal, but because we've actually seen a player from the collection. So the 10 pack box, I'd give it a W. But my MT is being absolutely drained right now. We're at 1.4 million. I'm doing another 10. If the 10s are hitting, we're not going to stop with them. So this one right here, let's see is something good. Let's see another shake in this box because the last one wasn't bad. As they're really throwing me this Wemby now. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Thank you all so much for the support on that series. I'm going to try and post it once per week, which I know isn't a lot, but it's definitely better than what I've been trying to do in the past. Like sometimes I would just go on three week stints where I ended up not posting at all as we get Macau Bridges right there, who again has a pink diamond in these packs. I'm feeling absolutely nothing in this one. I'm feeling like we are getting a no players from the collection in this box. Was Angus right? Was he right? In pack number six, again, we get nothing. Watch this be Wemby. No, it's James Harden. Please do okay, just make this a little bit better for me. Like literally just... I I don't know what's going on. It's Franz Wagner. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as we got the Sapphire, it's Franz Wagner. We need to see his Pink Diamond version because I need these players. Larry Markinen. They're two players that we actually ended up getting on the Wemby's Legacy team. We do get a shake this time on number nine. And it's just another diamond. I am actually shocked with like 10 packs. We, we've opened up 40 packs so far. And we've only seen two players from the iconic set. I can't believe that. And yes, I'm spending a lot of MT. So this is now the final pack of this box. It has to come clutch. It doesn't. We didn't get a single iconic player. Can quick sell it for 10K. I guess let's go back to the 20s. We're now under 1 million MT, which is so sad. Like literally so sad. I remember only like a couple of weeks ago, I was at 4 million, no, 8 million MT. That's right, 8 million MT. I sold like my entire collection before the all-star packs came out and I was really happy with how much we were sitting on. It was obviously worth it because then we ended up pulling the 100 overall Kareem and that was actually on an MT pack. And ever since then, we've just been losing it. And you can see why right here because in five packs to start out this box, we have got absolutely nothing. Like I thought I was gonna pull all the pink diamonds at least. And when I say I was gonna pull them, I thought I was gonna pull them really easily, but this is looking so hard. And I mean, so hard. Again, we're not getting anything. What Emerald is this? Russell Westbrook. I, I, what about uh, number eight? Is it going to be... Gr How many packs is it going to be until we get a shake? There's no way we go another 20 pack box without a single shake from the iconic set. This one is another pink diamond. Okay, surely. Surely it has to be an iconic player. Let's flip it and see small forward. Don't you dare be Jeff Green again. No, it's going to be Danny Granger. No, not Danny Granger. Danny Green. So that's another iconic player. We will take it. All right, we'll, we'll take it. We're getting more iconic players, but one per box is not good enough. What is he, a three-time champ? Okay. Wouldn't say that's super iconic, but I guess it's kind of cool. So we've got one so far in this box and uh, another one. Okay, another pink diamond. That's better. We want to see at least four in each box, which actually shouldn't be too hard given the odds. Steph Curry, though. Steph Curry. Curry. Why do I see so many current Series 2 players when I'm not looking for them? Steph, we do not want you at all. That's another pink diamond, but that pink diamond does not count whatsoever. Number 11, just back to these normal packs. Literally after this, I could open up two boxes and then that be the end of the pack opening. Like I thought I was going to be sitting here for quite a long time with 2 million MT, but this has just absolutely flown by. And I truly do not understand why. I do not understand why. We get a gold sh uh, diamond shoe boost there. Jaron Jackson Jr. as well. We've got his pink diamond from the Rush set. That right there is a normal shake. For some reason, that one was a little bit different at first, but 
it is another Pink Diamond. As we know, we don't want this to be a current Series 2 player. Be an iconic player that we haven't seen. Small forward again, and that's going to be... Macau Bridges. How many small forwards are in this set? It's actually so many, but finally it's another uh, what, iconic card. I mean, I can't lie. He's not very iconic with the stats, but maybe they're saying he's iconic with his little celebration. Cause yeah, I'll give him that. All right, Macau Bridges. I'm surprised how many small forwards there are. Cause every single time I see small forward, I think it's going to be a dupe, but fortunately we haven't got one yet. Watch our next pack though. Our next pink diamond will be a duplicate. I'm already feeling it. And I don't know how long it's going to be until we get one. Because we've seen three in this box. Two that count. Iconic packs. Not feeling super iconic with another pink diamond just like that. Let's flip it and get this duplicate out of the way. No, it's point guard. Who is it? I, yo, it's actually... Is that Mike... B no, it's Jason Williams. Jason Williams... We're actually getting quite a few of them now, which is good. Yeah, I can see why they say he's iconic. Yeah, the stats don't show it. But with the elbow pass and everything like that, he's got to be iconic. Mr. White Chocolate. Mr. White Chocolate. If I pull another Jason Williams in this pack right here, I'll go buy some white chocolate. I'm glad I didn't because I didn't have any and it's currently 4 a.m. in Australia. But that's okay. Next pack up. Final pack of this box. Still wasn't great, but wasn't our worst. Can quick sell it for 16K. I'm losing so much MT. And like, look at these odds. We've got a 16% chance at a pink diamond, a 2% chance at a galaxy opal, and then an under 2% chance at a 100 overall. Will Chamberlain, I want you bad. Clay Thompson, I want you bad. Penny Hardaway, I want you super bad. You'll ever seen the movie Super Bad. What a good movie. But most importantly, Michael Jordan, I want you extremely, super, amazingly bad. And it's time to do another 10 pack box. Our 10 pack box was our best one so far but then it was also one of our worst ones so it's it's looking hit or miss so we need to see some shakes straight away we get one and it's another pink diamond there's only i think now two pink diamonds that we don't have so hopefully we can see one of those small forward again that's going to be jeff green so now we're getting into the duplicates which is not really what we want to see we need to see hassan whiteside and i forgot the other oh it's franz wagner of course so we actually do want to see small forward when we get it or center which is kind of annoying because there's so many small forwards so one pink diamond so far in the first pack not bad but you know what we need to see a couple more if i don't get another pink diamond in this box i'm going to do singles for about 200,000 mt to see if that's going to be any better because it has to be surely like what do you guys think of these packs right now a galaxy up all right, all right. Pack number five hits us with the Galaxy Opal. I thought it was going to be bad. This one is good. So, Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway is who I need to see. I can't believe I'm asking to see Point Guard again. I don't want it to be Jason Kidd. We want to see Point Guard for Penny Hardaway. Or Will Chamberlain, or also Clay Thompson. They're the three that we want, and they're the three that we're going to get. Let's flip it now and see exactly which Galaxy Opal it is going to be. Point guard, it is, it is, it is Penny Hardaway. Let's go. Okay, that's the Galaxy Opal I wanted the most, and Penny Hardaway, welcome to the team. All right, that saves it. That absolutely saves how bad this has been. Because we get one of the best point guards in the game being Penny Hardaway. Oh, the card art is just so nice too. Man, three-time All-NBA, four-time All-Star being Penny Hardaway. Yeah, welcome to the squad. You know what? else I noticed on this um on this little screen right here don't you think the iconic font is exactly the same as the prime font is that just me that thinks that I don't know I, I think I'm being real but that's not really what we're caring about right, right now we just pulled this penny hard away the card I wanted the most the card I wanted the most we ended up getting yes it took over a million MT and yes it was in a 10 pack box which haven't been good for us so far but that one it certainly was good alrighty that makes me feel a little bit better just a little bit better about things I know the 10 pack boxes has very much been hit or miss and if I do another 10 pack box i know i'm getting absolutely nothing in it but maybe we got to run it back because we got a galaxy opal just like that can we see one more shake in this box in now the final pack it's been a w but is it going to happen no it's not but what a box because we pulled the galaxy opal i wanted most being penny hardaway i should look at this man's stats like six foot seven a point guard 93 three ball how does he only have a 90 driving dunk i thought that was going to be a lot higher but he looks like an absolute weapon literally his diamond was one of my favorite cards imagine how good his galaxy opal is going to be but all i have to do now is pull this franz wagner and this hassan Whiteside, and then we get every single card needed and we can lock in for a guaranteed galaxy opal player you know i want to do that but most importantly now i want will this clay thompson and obviously 100 overall michael jordan 2k granted me one of those players when i asked for it so let's do another 10 pack box let's get it i said that when i open up the next 10 pack box we're going to get no iconic players so uh, uh, yep okay it was still a shake and it's still not the type of shake we're looking for just another diamond surely we have to get to the point soon when diamonds don't shake because i feel like there is no point in us getting excited for a diamond shake 
at this point of the year. Given that none of the players that are dropping are actually diamonds, um, pink diamond, okay, maybe we've just gone for a diamond to a pink diamond and then a galaxy opal. Franz Wagner, Franz Wagner, no, it's going to be Danny Green, not who we want. We want to see small forward, but we want it to be the rarest player of them all. But Danny Green can just go towards the quick sale section and at least now, can we go from diamond to pink diamond to galaxy opal? No, we go back down to sapphire, okay. Alrighty, iconic, 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 iconic. Let's see Michael Jordan in this pack right here. Could you imagine in this 10 pack box if we actually did? I would go ballistic. How many times do you reckon I've used the word ballistic on my YouTube channel? I've got absolutely no idea, but we do get another shake. That's what, three shakes in this box and this one's just another pink diamond. It's pack number six. Can we see center for it to be Hassan Whiteside? It's small forward once again, and it's actually Franz Wagner. This is the one we wanted the most, and this is the biggest W of them all. Franz Wagner, and it's hollow as well. Let's go. Okay, now that's a huge W. That is absolutely huge. Welcome to the team, Franz Wagner. Well, I'm definitely just going to quick sell him because we just pulled a hollow version of him. That's going to quick sell for so much more. Fun fact, on this box, because of that pull right there, we've actually made MT from it. I know. I know we haven't done that for a very long time, but we actually have in this 10 pack box because that hollow version is going to sell for at least like 200,000 MT himself. And maybe we can get one more shake in this box just to make it even crazier. I can't believe the one time I get the player I want, it's actually a hollow version, but maybe 100 overall hollow Michael Jordan is in this next pack. Um, yep. Is, uh, yeah, no, I... That's definitely not going to happen. Well, we get Franz Wagner again. But I can't believe we actually got this holo version. But yes, quick sells for 200,000 MT just by himself. That's actually pretty crazy. I guess the 10-pack box was pretty good. So let's do another one. That last one, we actually certainly did make MT, given we got that holo pull. And we also pulled, what, three pink diamonds from it or two pink diamonds? I can't even really remember, but not bad. Just got Josh Hart. You know the song, You Broke My Heart from Drake? You broke my heart. Speaking of Shea Gildas Alexander, you know the video of him singing the song in pregame warmups? I would love to see Shea Gildas Alexander in the player market because that's a point guard I really badly want towards my team. Number five this time, Pink Diamond in the middle. We haven't seen anything good in the middle for an extremely long time. Hassan Whiteside. Nope, this is just going to be a duplicate. And it's Mikael Bridges. At least we're actually seeing the iconic players now rather than the Series 2 players. Man, I wish these iconic cards were more obtainable for every single person because I love the card art so much. Like literally, it just looks so clean that I wish we were able to get the 100 overall Michael Jordan and it's so much easier towards our team because it looks so nice. But he is going to be such a hard card to pull. The crazy thing is, is a lot of people are saying he's not going to be that good because his release is not great, but it is on very quick. So I really only know one way to know if he's good or not, and that's to try him out. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do this because we've only got a few more packs to go. Hassan Whiteside in this one. No, it's another small forward. It's another duplicate. It's Jeff Green. So... It's going to be hard for us to see if we can actually get the card. Jeff Green, another 50k in the bank right there. So we're going to make like 100,000 MT back from this box, which actually isn't too bad. I I'll take it. Yeah, if we quick sell it, almost 100k. I'll take that. I've got enough for another 20, but the 20s have been so bad. We haven't pulled a single Galaxy Opal from it, so let's do another 10. Sometimes the 10s are just way better than the 20s, but sometimes the 10s can absolutely suck. So... I don't know about this one. Starting with the gold does not make me happy, especially when it's Grant Williams. Iconic. Can we feel... What's iconic about me? Um, Iconic is the Legacy series. Iconic is me opening up packs. Iconic is me being ginger. Did you guys know I was ginger? Can you see that right there? But pack number three, yep, not very iconic with an emerald in the middle. Uh, fun fact, when I was playing basketball the other day, we were actually down by three points with only three seconds to go. The ball got kicked out to me. Yes, it was only to tie the game, but your boy hit the wide open three. Yes, it was wide open, but yes, it was clutch too. So we ended up not losing the game because it doesn't go into OT, which I'm pretty happy with. This pack right here is is another Galaxy Opal. Let's go. Okay, the 10s have been absolutely hitting. Absolutely hitting. This is our third Galaxy Opal so far. And can we see Wilt Chamberlain? Wilt Chamberlain or Clay Thompson? They're two very iconic players. And I want to see one of them. We actually got the 76ers ball. So maybe that's a good point that we can actually get this Clay. No, not Clay Thompson. Wilt Chamberlain right here. Let's flip it and see which player this is going to be. Don't be point guard. It's center. Does that mean? No, it's Demarcus Cousins. All right. Well, I kind of forgot that Wilt Chamberlain was a center and so was Demarcus Cousins. But Demarcus, I'll still take you. He's actually probably going to be 
better than Carl Anthony Towns, who I'm using right now. And Boogie, I, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I want to test out his release and see how he goes. It's another special insert pool, though, so I'm super happy about that. Welcome to the team, DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins. Was that good? I don't know. It's actually crazy when I say that type of thing, that type of meme. And then I realized that that probably happened like eight years ago. And I was like, eight, what, 17? I was 16. No, I'm 24 right now. So 16 years old. And that's how long ago it happened. This pack is another pink diamond. All we need to see is Hassan Whiteside. We want to see center and we get small forward once again. It's Franz Wagner. Now this puts me in a pickle. This puts me in an absolute pickle right here. I'm happy with it, but I'm thinking to myself, do I just instantly quick sell the hollow version? Because yes, getting that card is a W, but the issue is if I quick sell my 50,000 coin version, my 50,000 MT one, which is that one right there, the non hollow version, then I'm gonna grade the other one to try and make another bonus 100,000 MT from it. But then I wanna buy Franz Wagner back to be able to lock in the Galaxy Opal set. So I think actually the smartest idea is to unfortunately not grade this card. I know it's a bit annoying, but can you see what I'm saying is the fact that yes, I can can probably make an extra 100,000 MT if I get a good grade on him. But given I want to lock in the collection, I need Franz Wagner towards the collection, then I think it's smarter. I just quick sell this one right here. I don't want to do it, but I think we're going to do it. And then we're going to quick sell the rest for 4K. So that box was actually pretty good. We're going to do another 10. If I can somehow make over 100, what, 60,000 MT from this box and not lose, to, well, only lose 40,000 MT, I will do a 20 pack box. That's what I'm telling you guys. If not, we're only doing a 10. So 2K, let's see if you can come out strong and give us something good in this tenor right here. Pink Diamond, all right, that's gonna help. That's gonna help because no matter what Pink Diamond this is, unless if it's Hassan Whiteside, we're quick selling it for a bit of MT. And this one right here is Jeff Green, who goes for 50,000 MT. So we need to pull three Pink Diamonds to be able to open up another 20. At least the Pink Diamonds are actually showing in packs right now, because my word, I was worried at the start of this pack opening when we were seeing absolutely nothing in every pack we were opening. But hopefully this time we can make some changes and get something good, especially because the tens have hit us with three Galaxy Opals and the 20s have hit us with the zero and absolutely none. But I don't know, we're only gonna get one Pink Diamond from this box, because we do get another shake. It's another Pink Diamond. Hassan Whiteside is the only one we need to see. Small forward once again. It's gonna be Macau Bridges, which gives us about 100,000 MT. We need to just see one more pink diamond. And then we're doing a 20 pack box. So we've got three packs to see it. Three packs to see it, and then that's it. That's absolutely it. So now only two. Pack number eight was not great. We've seen so many Galaxy Opals in these boxes. Can we see it once again? We need one more shake 2K in the final pack right here. Maybe an iconic 100 overall or just an emerald. Okay, definitely not a 100. So we can quick sell this for 100K. And now I don't have enough for a 20 pack box. So let's do a few singles. I don't know if this is a good idea. I definitely need to keep some MT in the bank, but it doesn't seem like we're going to do that. The real question is, why am I just draining all my MT? I've got no idea, but another single. Can we get something good from a single is the real question. We're only getting an emerald and this is my final single. Literally after this, I'm opening up a 10 pack box and then that's it. I don't even think I'm going to do a single at the end of it. And yeah, this is not good. So our final 10 pack box, let's do it. We have spent so much MT on these packs. We've pulled three Galaxy Opals, which definitely isn't bad. And three of them being actually pretty good uh, Galaxy Opals. This one is another pink diamond. We need to see Hassan Whiteside. We need him to come clutch. Center, it's another small forward. How many small forwards are in this set? I think every single player in the set, except for Jason Williams and Hassan Whiteside is a small forward. Kind of forgot about that Jason Williams too, because we pulled him once and then that's it. And I'm happy with that. But we need to see a couple more shakes in this box, please. I'll actually be happy in 2 million MT if we're able to just see one more Galaxy Opal and make it four Galaxy Opals. Especially if it's Will Chamberlain or Clay Thompson, I'll be extremely happy. But it's looking pretty difficult right now because we're now on to pack number five. We get a pink diamond in the middle. Okay, can this be the pink diamond we want to see for Hassan Whiteside center? Nope, okay, it's small forward again. It's Macau Bridges once again. Why is Hassan Whiteside, Whiteside one of the hardest cards we can pull? I don't know. Remember when Hassan Whiteside came into the league and he was just saying that he wanted to get his 2K rating up and then he just started popping off and I remember Ronnie was like, okay, we actually will put your rating up. I fully remember that and it might have been again a long time ago. Another pink diamond. That's three pink diamonds in the box. By far the most we've seen so far. This one is finally the player we needed. As soon as we start giving him his accolades, the iconic player 
being a Sun White type finally. Oh, that's what it actually meant. Buy Iconic and get my 2K rating up. I actually kind of love that. But we got the player we needed most. All right, that means we pulled every single pink diamond. In 2 million MT, we have done it. We could have just bought all the players for what, like... 500,000 MT? No, we wanted to spend 2 mil to see how many Galaxy Ovals we could get and potentially a 100 overall. We got three three pink diamonds. No, it won't. All the pink diamonds and also three Galaxy Ovals. I'll say that's not too bad because now we can do this iconic Galaxy Opal unsellable pack. We can lock it in. Guess what? I'm not doing it in this video though, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> can quick sell the rest for 100k. And we'll do one more MT single because we haven't got a shake out of this so far. And can we see something good in the final pack? No, we cannot. All right, well... We'll end it on that, I guess. So we spent almost 2 million MT on this pack opening. And what did we get? We pulled every single one of the pink diamonds that we needed, which was actually pretty good, including actually a holo Franz Wagner, which we have now sold. But most importantly, we pulled this Galaxy Opal Jason Kidd, Galaxy Opal Demarcus Cousins. But yes, we also pulled one of the players I wanted most being this Penny Hardaway. He looks like such a beast. So the question is, do we think that this Demarcus Cousins is going to be better than Carl Anthony Towns? Let's test him out. Okay, Demarcus has quite a few hot zones. Let's check out his... Okay, that's actually... Wow. wow, okay, I'm definitely using this card. He has a money release. That is... That's actually very quick and very nice. And obviously, you can finish the slams. And what, what about this Jason Kidd? I mean, his release actually isn't bad either. It's actually quite quick because I'm guessing that's on very quick. And obviously, he's going to be an insane defender too. Then now for the player we want him most, Penny Hart. Yeah, his release is money. His release is actually so much better than his diamond. I'm excited to try out this card and use him in my team unlimited because he's obviously an insane card already. So obviously, no 100 overall Michael Jordan in this pack opening, but I'd still say I'm not mad with how it went. Three Galaxy Opals, every pink diamond. Yeah, I'll take it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the pack opening. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.